Hi guys! Welcome back to the Most Wanted Travel Channel. So now we are at a new place for our golf trip. And here itself we are at some place more chilly. So it's not somewhere we go in a normal golf course in the city or whatever. So currently right now we are here at the Awana Genting Resort World. It's, you know, Genting Highland, it's a popular destination. So this, is, uh, this place, this golf course is actually located at a uh, halfway to Genting Island. It's in the middle of the mountain. So the weather here is quite chilly. Uh, the reason we picked this golf course is because right now during the fasting month, the Ramadan run, uh, they have special promotion for the golf package. It's actually quite uh, cheap to play. And also that we wanted to try out somewhere more challenging. This, is, uh, this, this golf course is a uh, generally very tight golf course. So it, it actually you know, push your boundaries to make sure that your golf shot is really straight to keep it in the fair way. So now we are in our first tee off. So let's go. One month ago we played in the house and now we are here in another golf course again. And can't wait to play because it's a beautiful day today and it's quiet and we are all set to go, right? Let's see what's gonna happen in our first tee off, right? A great shot but yeah you know first tee off without warm up without going to the driving range <laughs> i would say it's a okay shot so let's see what's janet gonna happen in her first tee shot right nice nice shot nice so we are a bit disappointed it's our first hole Look at the green situations over here. It's so bad. It's basically the woods everywhere. And basically everything is covered in sand. Even though we had a really nice uh, putting opportunity, but it wasted uh, because of the really bad quality of the greens over here. So if you are planning to come here, do uh, have an expectation that the green is not that great. So keep or in mind have, that. Or you have like super good skill. Uh, sometimes it's not just pure skills, you know, it also depends on the uh, cost uh, situations and also the quality of the cost, right? So everything balances out for a good uh, golf experience here, alright? Let's move on to our next tee, the second hole, right? So since now we're in a different, different place for golf, the species that we see in this kind of golf course is so very different. It's something that I really, really scared of, just wanted to show you how it is like. Just look at this! This is one of the common species where you can find here in Malaysia, especially in the tropical rainforest. Basically, they call it as a giant millipede. So it's quite nice here, you know, it's, it's slightly different to the one that we've been to, the Els. It's because Els is basically a golf course by the ocean. And this is in the mountain. And a lot of pine trees over here, you see the scenery is quite nice as well. Pine trees are everywhere. Now we are at the whole tree, so apparently this hole is the hole where they say uh, you have a very really nice view. So if you look here, you can actually see Gunting Highlands over there. So the bad thing over here is the buggy can't actually go into the track, uh, to the fairway. So we have to park aside and then walk to our ball, which is quite, uh, I would say, quite hectic and quite tiring as well because uh, if imagine your, your ball is quite far away from the buggy track, then you have to walk uh, some distance to, to your ball and you know the good thing here it's quite cool quite cooling over here so you don't really sweat a lot and you you don't feel uh, dehydrated as well so that's the good thing to play in this uh, course if let's say that have problem walking so you, you you don't like walking so you might consider not playing this uh, golf course because it requires a lot of energy in walking and looking for your balls as well so actually here there are a lot of monkeys so if you bring like food especially food in your buggy so make sure there's someone here in the buggy when you another person went to hit the ball so that's why your things will not get stolen by the monkeys itself yeah so you need to be very cautious around your surroundings what's going on and what's around your surrounding uh, if you play golf you always have to be uh, aware of that yeah so just make sure that when you have monkeys surrounding your buggies just make sure one person to stay stay behind and watch your belongings since you're in mountainous area so Sometimes it will be a bit misty, so when we are playing golf here, then some scenery, sometimes we can't see them because it's covered by mist, as what you can see here. 
currently we are approaching to the number 14 hole and it's really beautiful here we have to cross this uh, bridge over here as you can see it's quite nice and we will come up to this platform where to tee off our 14 hole from here good shot nice very nice it's getting colder and colder we are at our 17 hole here two holes to go uh, you know the sun it's, it's setting right now and the weather is getting colder, colder. Uh, it's about 20 degree over here uh, to be honest we didn't sweat at all today so uh, it's really nice to play here actually because uh, even you don't hit the ball well you wouldn't get really angry because you don't feel that very hot here yeah. and the weather here is just really nice for you to play golf yeah, it's just quite relaxing over here yeah and also quite challenging as I said earlier the fairway is quite tight here so it actually pushed our boundaries to make sure that we really uh, hit a very straight shot to keep our ball in the fairway. We lost quite a lot of balls today, but that's part of the experience, you know, as a, as a beginner, golf beginner, you must lose some ball in order for you to, to actually improve and also to learn better. And I think it's also because we didn't manage to go into the driving range to warm up before our first tee off. So, our shots today is not that great. We only managed to catch up and, and also play better golf after the first nine. Uh, a little bit frustrated in the first nine, but we just try to relax and enjoy, you know, just uh, play at is it, you know, just enjoy our moment here in the, in the golf course. Not so right? bad. Yeah. If, if you are a beginner, do remember that don't get frustrated because once you get frustrated, your shot will be really bad. So just make sure that you have a very positive uh, you know, mindset and also uh, emotion as well. So Just enjoy, enjoy the scenery, I think. Like if, you, if you hit a bad shot, it's okay. The scenery is so nice, so just enjoy. And the weather is nice, so it keeps you yeah. motivated also to keep on going to the next hole. Yeah, I thought, the, uh, as I showed you guys earlier, the green wasn't the best condition here. But we just try to you know, enjoy it. And, and to be honest, the green here, it's quite easy to, to putt as well. Base, uh, most of their greens are on the flat, flat surface yeah, yeah. E even though some uh, uneven uh, area but it's fine the 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 part is mostly straight shot as well these are mimosa i used to play them a lot when i was a kid it reminds me of my childhood and currently we are here at our last hole janet is thinking of that's a really nice shot there. managed to hit it into the green but let's see how she put it right here Oh, that is so close. Nice putt, nice putt. Oh! I think she will need to sign up some putting lesson to enhance her putting skill here. Clearly sees that she's oh, no. lacking uh, the putting skill. I thought it will come back to the right hand side that's why I put a bit left and I miss it close very close it was okay it's a two putt hey so guys right now we just finished our golf trip here and we check in into our accommodation tonight which is Awana Resorts World so we actually came here I think more than 10 years before and it was very old back then and I believe there are not a lot of people wanted to stay here when they have a vacation here. So we are quite surprised that now they actually just refurbish and it looks very very modern and it looks much more cleaner and brighter at a sense and they have very a lot of amenities as well that they have refurbished like the pool and then the restaurants which is really nice. Um, so th I believe there are more people willing to come here right now because uh, all these old uh, refurbishments and decorations are already over so now everything is brand new so actually the room itself uh, is a very simple one it's just a very small room with um, basic amenities and from our balcony right here a small balcony right here we can actually see Genting Highlands and Genting Premium Outlet from there so if you are planning for a golf trip that close to Kuala Lumpur city center this is also one of your selections maybe you can 
pay a visit here as well because it's just a short drive, one hour short drive away from the Kuala Lumpur city centre and it's quite easy to access as well. Not just golf, if let's say you are coming with your families and friends, you know, you can play golf while your, your kids can uh, hang out in Genting Highlands or shopping around in the uh, premium outlet as well. The reason we came here and play golf is because we bought a very good deal golf package here. It's actually a two day one night golf package. Uh, because right now it's the fasting Ramadan period, a lot of golf courses and, and golf resort they have uh, packages deals. And we bought here because we never played here before and it's been a while we came to Genting. We are looking for somewhere, a cooling place because the weather recently it's quite hot in Kuala Lumpur. So we came here and played, um, I would say the golf course it's still okay, not the best. Uh, if you have played better places like for example like the L's, do not have really high expectations on the golf course, especially on the green condition and also the fairway conditions. But uh, I thought the condition is not the best, but it's a very challenging golf course because it's so tight, the fairway is quite narrow, and yeah, it's a, it's a good golf experience, I would say. And currently right now, we are here in the, in the, in the hotel, in our room, and you can see it's quite bright, everything has been refurbished, so I would say it's worth visiting here. Yeah. So this is the end of our travel video right now here and please remember to subscribe to us and like our video and share with your friends if you like it and we will see you in our next travel video. Bye!